Okay, this is one of those areas I was talking about. Although, I'm not sure what that used to be. What was the foundation or something? But there is somewhat of a fire pit right here. Um, matter of fact, there's trash in it. So I'm going to grab my trash bag here in a second. We'll clean the trash out. Um, but I wonder if, you know, if I was able to, you know, if I had a permit and everything disperse camp tonight, if I could do that. I mean, I could sit a hammock up right over here. It looks like a foundation to a house or something. Let me grab my stick. Hang on, I'll bring it back. All right, I got you too far out. That's a foundation of something right there. Exactly what that is, an old foundation. That's pretty wild. That metal strapping, okay. I saw this and I was like, what's that? But then I see pieces, more pieces of it. Yeah, that was in the concrete metal strapping right there so it held something down right here fire tower no it's not too high it's not high enough because you see it goes up that hill right there oh that's weird but something was right here that's a foundation for something um and that's a foundation for something too now that i look at it it's on a wall that's a foundation that's pretty wild but I mean, I would say technically you could camp up here. This is considered a dispersed campsite. Um, why not? I mean, honestly. But I'm going to grab my trash bag because somebody was a, starts with an A, ends with hole, and left their trash in the fire pit. Rude. So let me grab my trash bag out of my truck, my uh, truck box and I'll take care of that real quick but yeah, this is pretty this this would make a nice campsite for the night if this is a, I mean if that's what you could do here um, it's not on the map anywhere so I don't know what exactly it is but it'd be kind of cool I'd camp here I don't know that I could put the gazelle up anywhere. I wouldn't want to put it on that concrete pad, maybe right there. But that's an established, kind of an established fire pit, so. All right, I'll be back in a little bit, guys. I'll grab a trash bag and clean up. You, my friend, that left this, you're an a-hole. That's all right. I cleaned up for you. Okay, well, I've got you. Um, latest t-shirt that's on, or t-shirt that's on the Teespring right now is my on the road again. Go get one. Why don't you? I don't know. But anyway, wrapping my shirt today. But I'm looking at this over here there's a old fence post marking something but that's right here is even concrete from something some kind of foundation or something that looks like part of a foundation um that's definitely part of a foundation over there and i don't know some weirdness going on right here there's there's another right straight through there Looks like another foundation to something. So this may have been an old homestead at one time. Not that, but there's flowers growing right there that somebody had planted at one time. So pretty neat find. It's a big hill. Pretty neat find. Pretty neat find. So I'm gonna turn it around. We'll pull up further up there and just back up and head out that way and 
Keep on going. I'm tight and getting dirty. But we're having fun. So I came down 217. Pretty neat road. I recorded the whole way. Let me make sure I turned the darn GoPro off. It's probably no, it's still recording hours of footage. Anyway, um, found this cemetery. It's sitting up on top of a pretty neat hill. Um, so I, uh, up and down. But look at there. If you can see it through the trees. The lake. Well, no, what a better spot to, you know, be your last spot. Sit on top of this hill, look at that lake. Well, I'm going to grab my stick, and I think we're going to walk up there and uh, hopefully not chase out a rattlesnake or anything. Okay, I haven't gone too far in yet, but already the first stone I see, 1867 to 1957, 1892 to 1966. There's some old ones up here. I'm by myself, so I'm not going to venture in too far and too deep with it. I just find these things fascinating. Good sized tree fall fell right over there. So you can see the I guess I'm going to say acre. Um, the biggest headstones here. Uh, there's Kate Litton, maybe, or Lydian Litton, Ruby, and Lucy. 1874 to 1956. It's almost like they're all kids, maybe. That's wild. Oh, this one's fairly new. 2020. That one's 1893 to something. 1966, maybe. But it goes way back. Matter of fact, I dare say a couple of these may be Civil War. There's a lot of those up here. So, there's even some back in there. Pretty wild. All right. Neat place, but I'm not having lunch here. <laughs> We're going to go on. Um, there's a pretty nice road coming down through there. I will say, none of the roads I went down, I've been down so far today, that you couldn't get down in a small SUV, Subaru Forester, or something like that. No problem whatsoever. Uh, even even the right car with the right clearance, you can get down to there. Not any problems. But anyway, we're going to proceed on. Turn around right here and make tracks. Okay, so we're going down 216, come off of 217. Um, see where this goes? It looks like it's... Oh, look, see? That's what I'm talking about. That's... That looks like that would be a dispersed campsite.
But the thing is, is when I'm up here, I never hardly ever, unless you go to the station, to the welcome center, you don't hardly run into anybody from the park service or from the U.S. Forestry Service. I don't, I don't know. They just don't patrol like, I guess, like uh, the national parks do and state parks do. Okay, that's start of, there's a cemetery. <laughs> there's a start of 369, so that's in the 300s. I, I wouldn't dare go down through there right now in my truck. Although, it's dusty here. So that means it's dry. Um, this place dries out real quick, I guess. But anyway, we're going to take this out. It looks like there's a paved road on up here. And then this looks like it runs into pavement. But I found that out over there at that first um, boat dock thing I went to. It, it ran into a paved road. It did end it. I mean, you go down this big gravel road forever and all of a sudden there's asphalt. I'm like, where's the thinking on that? Unless it was washing out that bad all the time or something. Or because it's near that lake, it floods real easy. I don't know. Look down in there. Um, I dare say when this is wet, it's probably that's a big dragonfly. See, there's another offshoot that's not on the map. But I dare say if this is wet, this may not, well, I don't know, it's gravel. So far, it's all gravel underneath me. And so it's a hard pack. We'll see where it goes because it, like I said, here at the end, it looks like um, a couple of asphalt roads. So I don't know. <laughs> I just don't understand that. If you have to drive through this to get to asphalt that dead ends it doesn't go anywhere we'll see maybe a couple more cemeteries i must not have those turned on usually you can see them um on the map eh, that might be kind of oh wonky if wet all right i'll bring you back in a little bit get in your head right now any song that says end of the road or the, whoever it's by but we're at the end of my road i'm not going through that matter of fact i had to dodge one back there so now i've got to get this beast turned around somewhere in here um crap that's not what i wanted so i'm gonna back up i think i think my move is to back up turn into there and then do a three thousand point turnaround but shouldn't be a big big deal but the other one i had to dodge was right up there um but yeah i think my th my my play is to back up as far as i can up there pull in and then back down in here and then go forward but i can't do that there's no way that is the end of the road but it ends up there somewhere so part of it guys and i've got sense enough that i am not going through that right whoop, right there i'm not not going through that nope nope uh, uh not gonna do it so let me get backed up turned around back out of here so that's when i had to dodge getting to that point where i had to stop now i'm having to hug this tree right here to keep from falling off into it which i'm not being worried about it because i came by here other direction it didn't look this way but i'm not going that way either <laughs> i'm going this way well, that was fun Couldn't go all the way to the end, which kind of stinks, but I'm not going to take that other one either because I got a feeling getting down in there might be fun trying to get back out, so I'm not going to do that. I am going to get out of this one. We're going to find a place to eat a snack. 
snacks. But uh, no, the, the I'm doing the track, so it says I've been 20 miles so far today. So that's a good that's a good little trick. Um, this has been this one's been a little bit more than what I've been down so far. But here we go, run across something pretty cool. All right, former site of Crockett Creek. Crockett's Creek Baptist Church, established in 1805. I guess they mean up on that hill right there. But uh, I'm not sure where that road goes. It's not on the map, so I'm not going. But I'm headed down this way, and up here it splits again, and we're going to be taking that split. So look at them dusty wheels and tires. Check this old house out. I just found this cruising down through here I've never passed this before of course there's no trespassing and stuff like that but I wasn't going to go in there but that's that's old that is old look at the wall in front of it man it's tell you what it's just about completely falling down that's crazy all right that's kind of cool. Just out of nowhere, a house. <laughs> I ain't seen no wildlife except for that one turkey this morning. And he was he he was probably going somewhere to hide. Yeah, turkey season. Alright guys. Well, I'm actually made it up to the main visitor center. Um been at it since I don't know. 30 something miles. But I'm going to call it quits for the day. I'm actually going to start heading back towards home. Um, At the stop sign, turn right onto the trace road. She's loud. Um, I'm going to start heading back towards home because we do dinner tonight and everything at home. Um, Turkey Bay was busy. <laughs> I didn't go there. But uh, clouds are starting to roll in. Okay. Let's go up while I'll stop that. Anyway, clouds are starting to roll in. Doesn't mean the rain's anywhere near. I hadn't even looked at the radar for I couldn't get it if I had to. But I've had my fun. Turn right onto US 68 East. I could probably do some more. I mean, kill some more hours, but um, yeah, get home. Edit all the video. It's gonna be a long video, to be honest with you, because there's some cool stuff. I had a great day. It's 82 degrees. Yeah, it says it's 82 degrees. It wasn't cold, it was nice and warm. Oh, let me show you this real quick. So a couple For years ago. A couple years ago, straight. we went to the original base of that old fire tower that fire tower that's there now which is pretty darn sweet um, but me and Bill did that back well me and Bill and whoever else but Doug maybe with us but anyway uh, when I come back I'd like to be able to bring Chloe after she has her surgery and everything and bring the wife even for that matter let her just ride just get out and you know get away from all the stuff but anyway it's a great time I had fun I appreciate you watching thank you for all the new subscribers and for everybody that uh, checks out the videos it's awesome now I do know this there's a great number of you guys that watch the videos that are not subscribed man if you would hit that subscribe button and even hit the bell button if you would like to that would be so sweet anyway that's it for this one guys don't forget go check out your mid 10 outdoors merch because that pays for some of the stuff links down below be prepared guys see you on the next one